Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create water fill title reveal intro for your video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about keyframes and animating in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as water fill logo, click OK. Now go to this new item icon and click on the color mat. We will use the default settings click OK. Choose any color you want, I will choose light red. I will name it as red. Take the red mat and place it on our sequence to create a new sequence. We will now start animating our logo text reveal. Take the text tool and type in the name you want. I will type in gentle. Hold control on your keyboard and place the anchor point in the center. We will exchange the track of our text layer with our red mat layer. Place the text layer on the first track and mat layer on the second track. We will use our red mat layer to create that water effect. Since we want our text to be filled with water like color, we want to make our red mat layer to be only visible on our text. Go to effects panel and type in track mat key. Take it and place it on our text layer. Go to effects control. In the track mat, we will leave it as mat alpha. In the mat option, we have this two option. Since our mat layer is in track two, we will select the video two. As you see our red color mat is disappeared. But it truly not disappeared, it's just inside our gentle text. Because of the track mat our red color won't be visible. To change the color, you can simply change the fill of text layer. We will disable the track mat for now so we can focus on our water animation. Click on this FX icon to disable the track mat. Select the mat layer and go to effects control. Bring down the red mat using the vertical position. Now we can start creating our water effect. Go to effects panel and type in wave warp. Take the wave warp and place it on our red mat layer. As you see, the moment we dropped our wave on our mat it started to have this jagged edges. Go to effects control and here we have the wave warp effect. Since we want our effect to be in wave like structure, we will change wave type to semicircle. Now change the wave height to 61 and wave width to 180. Change the direction to 280 degree. And here we now have that wave like pattern on our mat. Use the direction to get that perfect wave pattern. Feel free to spend some time on it to know more about it. Once you get that perfect wave pattern, it's time to animate it. Place the playhead at the start and keyframe the wave height width and direction. We will increase the wave speed to 2. Change the phase to 20 degree. This will give us that dynamic wave effect. Now take the indicator to 1 second 15 frame. 
We want our wave to be gradually animate from strong waving to light waving. We will decrease the wave height to 29. Increase the wave width to around 200. Increase the direction around 200. Highlight all the three keyframes and right click on it. Select ease out. This will give us that smooth animation we wanted. Now we will enable our track mat. Select text layer and click on the FX icon of the track mat to enable it. Now that looks good, as you see our color mat now inside of our text. This will give us that filling effect. Select the text layer and make sure the indicator is at the start. Keyframe the position and bring down our mat until you can't see it. Now place the playhead where our out keyframes are present. Move our mat to the top until we can see our complete text. Move the keyframe little to the right. We will now change the color of our text. Select the text layer and change the fill color to any color you like. Click OK. Now let's play it and see the magic. That looks amazing. We now created our perfect filling water animation. We will now add more details to it and make it look more amazing. Here you can see our wave starts from strong and it starts enlarging at the end. We will make our filling effect from side to side. It will look good. Go to effects control and type in transform. Take it and place it on our text layer. Go to effects control. In the transform we will change our rotation to 8 degree. That looks good. We have this beautiful side filling effect, but as you see because of the rotation it stopped halfway. Use the position and bring it little up. We will add more layers to it and make it looks more dynamic. Select both layers, hold out on your keyboard and drag it above to duplicate. As you see our add mat came undone, that is because we used the video track 2 as our mat. Since we moved it one track above, our mat came undone. Drag this two layers 5 frames to the right, this will give us that delay from one effect to another. Select the text layer and go to effects control. In the track mat, we now have our Edmat layer in video track 4. We will select video 4. As you see, we don't see any changes, that is because our both text are in the same color. Go to fill, we will change our text color to cyan. If I move our indicator, you can see that our first effect is being followed by our second effect. Both of our effects patterns looks identical. We will make some changes on our wave to differentiate one effect from another. Select the mat layer and go to effects control. In the transform we will change our rotation from 8 degree to 0. This will give us that effect from being filled from bottom to up. We will tweak some wave settings to avoid the same pattern from our original effect. Place the playhead at the start and give some minor changes to all three wave tools. Increase all three of height, width and direction a little. Change the phase to minus 20. Now place the indicator where our last keyframes are at. Highlight it and press backspace on your keyboard to delete it. Now take this new keyframes and place it over there. 
we will add two more water filling layers, to make it look more dynamic. Now duplicate this both layers again and change its color. Change the track mat to video 6. Again tweak some changes to R3 effect tools. Change the rotation to minus 8 degree. Again duplicate it, change its color. Change the track mat to video 8. Drag this two layers 5 frames to the right. Again tweak some changes. This time we will change the rotation to 0 degree, since we want our final fill to be in from bottom to top. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks amazing. We now created the perfect water filled text reveal animation and it looks super great. As you see we have this below layer colors are jitting out of our text and it looks not good. Place the indicator where our animation is completed. Select all the layers except the top two. Take the razor tool and cut it. Press backspace to delete this unwanted layer. Now we fixed that color outline. We will change the final text color to white. Select all the layers and right click on it. Select nest. Click OK. We will place a stock video below to see the final result. Drag our stock video and place it on the below track directly. Now let's play it and see the final result. That looks super awesome. We now created the perfect water filling text reveal animation in Premiere Pro. It looks dynamic and amazing. We can change any of the colors and settings at any time. We now know how to create this amazing text logo reveal animation in Premiere Pro. You can download this project by going to this payhip link in the description. You will get this project file along with stock videos for just one dollar. You can use this on your video intro at any given moment without creating it from scratch every single time. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Again, your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. I hope you keep supporting my work. It means a lot to me. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comments section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.